Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to show you guys how I wash my lace closure wigs. And this is just an easy step on how I do it. So if you guys want to know how I wash them and how I keep them clean, just stay tuned to the video. So right now I'm showing you guys the inside of the wig and the stitching and everything, how nicely tight that is sewn. And the closure part. And now at this point, I'm just making sure that the wig is wet and I'm just getting the water to the right temperature. I like to wash it at warm. So I already had the hot on and I'm just turning the cold water on and making sure it's warm. And washing the lace first, making sure the lace is wet and making sure that all the hair is nice and wet before I add the shampoo. So the shampoo and conditioner I'm going to be using today, I think it's pronounced Lusta, I think, I'm not sure, but this is the shampoo and conditioner that I use on my weaves and I use a different kind for my hair. So I'm just going to take this stopper and stop up the sink. First I'm going to put the shampoo on and I'm just going to put a generous amount of throughout the whole hair starting from the top working my way down to the bottom. Adding more to the top because you have more hair at the top than you do at the end of course. And I'm just going to take this and massage it throughout the hair with my fingers. So I'm just going to take my wig brush and brush the hair also brush while brushing the shampoo throughout the hair. This helps detangle the hair while you're combing the shampoo in because sometimes when you comb the shampoo throughout the weave, it seems to get tangled but brushes help or a wig brush helps detangle the weave while also combing the shampoo throughout the hair. As you all can tell, this water was very, very dirty. That means this hair was very, very dirty. And I think you should at least wash your wigs at least once or twice a month. It depends on how often you wear them. I don't wear mine as often, but I tend to do wash them because when I do wear them, the places I go, the smells and things tend to stick to the hair which makes it dirty and the parts that I use in my real hair sits to the weave which also makes it dirty and the water now looks very clear but it's still a little dirty so I'm going to wash it again for the second time. So this is my second time washing the hair. You should wash your hair like any other hair, you know, wash, rinse, and repeat. So here I'm just leathering, leathering, leathering the hair, the shampoo throughout the hair. And I think the the first important the first wash is important, but the second wash is just as important because that's when you really get all the dirt out that you didn't get the first time. So here I'm just brushing the shampoo throughout the hair like I was doing the first time and as you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the water is still dirty so that's why the second wash is important also. And also I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the curls forming throughout the hair. This hair is um, Peruvian loose body wave so you can see the curls coming back through the hair. That's how I know that the hair is getting clean.
so I already drank the water so now I'm just rinsing out the hair and rinsing out any shampoo that might be left in the hair and I drank the water so that no dirt or any other shampoo or any other products will stick to this hair while I'm wash, rinsing it the shampoo out and you can see the waves forming in the hair so that's how I know that it's clean and also I'm going to wash the inside of the wig where I put onto my head to make sure any product didn't stick and I did get some shedding of course when I washed it but this wig or any weave sheds like any other hair because that's what hair do it sheds so yeah Next, I'm going to take the conditioner and we're going to put a lot, like a lot of conditioner. And I'm just going to massage it throughout the hair while also brushing it throughout the hair with my wig brush, of course. And making sure that the conditioner is reaching all in from the top of the closure to the bottom of the hair. Massaging, massaging the hair, of course. Making sure that it's nice and conditioned. <clears throat> and I'm just going to do this for a while. So now it is time for me to rinse the conditioner out of the hair and I'm just going to take this brush which I'm always just using this brush so <laughs> and I'm just going to rinse the hair while brushing the hair while detangling the hair all at the same time making sure that I'm rinsing all of the conditioner out of the hair. You can tell when there's conditioner still left over in the hair because the hair is going to seem heavy and it's going to seem really greasy and yeah. So as you can tell the conditioner is pretty much out of the hair because the waves are popping in this hair and I just love this hair. So the hair is all rinsed out, all the conditioner is rinsed out of the hair so now I'm just going to get the towel and drain any excess water that may be left out in the hair and I'm just going to make sure the hair is like really nice and drained and yeah look at the curls they're popping <laughs> so I'm going to take my wig head and I'm just going to place my damp wig on my wig head I'm just going to set my wig on my wig head and set it in front of a fan overnight to dry and yeah, so that's pretty much how I wash my lace front wigs. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button.